everybody this is Betsy with Bridging Apps and I wanted to show you the app called Audible today. Audible is one of my very favorite apps. It allows you to listen to audiobooks on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android tablet, your Android phone, your computer, pretty much any device you have you can use to listen to audiobooks. One nice thing about Audible also is if you have a Kindle version of a book on the Kindle app, you can also follow along with um, the Kindle version, so you can follow along with the text while you hear the audio. So Audible is from Amazon, and the app is right down here. This is what the app looks like. I'm going to go ahead and sign into it so you can see what it looks like. So you sign into Audible using your Amazon account, and here's my library. So as you see, I have a lot of different books in here, and I have purchased all these books over the years. Up here you can see where it says iCloud, and then there's a choice for device. So the cloud, that those are all the books that you've already purchased, but they're not necessarily stored on your device. If I go over to device, you'll see the books I have st actually stored on my device. I have a lot of memory on this iPad, which is why I can have so many books on here. But for other people, what I suggest is when after you finish listening to a book, you can take it off. All you do is hit these three little buttons over to the side Oops, I'm sorry. You swipe over from those three little buttons and you're gonna hit delete from device. And then it is off of your device. However, it's still on your cloud. It's right here, it's building a story brand. So you can always upload it back onto your device at any time if you wanna to listen to it. So let's give one a try. Let's do the grilling. I'm listening. listening. I replied so, evenly. As you can hear, it's reading. John Richard the resumed his. Um, I love listening to these books. I put them on my phone and listen in my car and wherever I am. Audible is a subscription-based service. So I pay, I think, about $30 a month, and I get three books on Audible per month. Um, and once you, once you purchase them, you have them forever in your Audible account, which is why when we look on my cloud account, I have so many books here. Um, you can also look at recents to see, um, to sort different things. This is the length. We have it by the title and by author. Um, as you can see, you can, over here, you can also quickly delete. I hit the delete. Now it has the marks, that it, the minus signs by them, and I can, I can take them off my device if I want. Let's, we'll try that out. Delete from the device delete from the device. If you Passage this, from Shakespeare. Oh, um, so if you have um, limited memory, you want to do that. You want to take them off your device so you don't have as much storage taken up. You can also change the view and see it as kind of a bookshelf. Audible also has these channels. So it has all of these different Audible original series that are, they're kind of like podcasts, I would say. Um, so I'm only subscribed to one of them. It's not showing up in mine, but you can subscribe to these to get other, um, other information. There are also some news channels on Audible and I believe some of these are free. Um, that was my listening time. This is the Discover um, area. It allows you to go in and find other books and other Audible channels that you might be interested in. And it has different categories. That was features. Here's the categories. I like mystery books. So here are the mysteries that they are featuring right now. In your settings, 
You can choose to download only on Wi-Fi. You can choose the download quality, um, download by parts or by the entire book, um, sync with other devices. You can choose to do the forward and back I have it set at 30 seconds, but you can set it at all these different times if you want to go back and forth. And you can change your control centers for jump seconds or chapter skip. I have it on jump seconds because sometimes I'll miss a little piece of the book and I want to go back just a little bit, um, but not an entire chapter. So one thing about Audible that you need to know is in order to get a new book on Audible, you have to go into your Amazon account. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to, I'm pushing the home button and getting out of Audible. I'm going to go into my Safari and I'm going to go to my Amazon account. So here's my Amazon account. So in order to find a book and put it on your Audible, you have to buy it on Amazon. So um, I'm gonna actually look, there are some free books on Audible. So I'm gonna just search free Audible books and see what we have. So here are all the books that are free today. Let's look and see. I don't know anything about any of these. So, uh, Pride and Prejudice. So, you know, that's a famous book. So let's, we'll, we'll download that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the title. It's going to open up just like it would if you were purchasing something on Amazon. We see up here that it says Kindle Edition and we want to buy it. Now, it will say over here all your different devices. This is crazy how many different devices I have. Um, but these are all my different devices. So I'm actually going to put it on my 12th iPad. I believe this is the iPad I'm working on right now. Um, and then you're just going to do buy now with one click. There is no way to purchase Audible books within the Audible app you always have to go to amazon.com. So here it is. So I am gonna look for, um, let's see, let's download um, The Old Man in the Sea. That's a book my son has to read this summer. So we'll look and see if it has, the, we have it on Audible. So. I just searched for the book, so here it is, but we want the Audible edition, so I'm going to click on the title, we'll let it load, so here it is, so we can see that there's a Kindle version, a hardcover, a paperback, and the Audible audiobook, and then a mass market paperback. Um, we're, so we want the audiobook for Audible, so we're putting it here, and then over here, I'm already subscribed to Audible, so it says buy with Audible credit. To purchase it, all I have to do is click buy with Audible credit, I'm clicking that, and it prompts me to sign in. and it is downloaded now. So to listen to it, I'm going to just click listen in the Audible app. You can also open up your Audible app by going back to your home screen. So here it is. So there's the old man in the sea right here. And to download it, so right now it's in my cloud. As you can see, it's not on my device. So I'm gonna switch back to the cloud version. To download it, I'm just gonna click it and it is downloading right now. The book is two hours and 30 minutes. So now it says ready to play. So in order to play it, all I have to do is click here. This, this is, audible. is Audible. And it's, it's playing my book. Now, once within the book, um, if you want to change channel,
chapters, you just click down here where it says chapters, and there's only three chapters in this audio book. Simon and Schuster Audio presents you can also change the, the Old Man and, and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Read by Donald Sutherland. As you can hear, that's much faster. There's also the sleep timer, where if you're going to sleep too... He was an old that, man who fished alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream, and, you can also do a clip. and he had gone 84 so days can, now um, without taking a fish. Clip, it basically book in the first 40 it. days, a boy and had you been... you can add a note to that if you would like. ...with him. But after 40 days without a fish, the boy's parents had told him that the old man was now definitely and finally Salau, which is the worst. Pause this. So if you go up to these three dots up here, if you go to clips and bookmarks, you will see each of the clips and bookmarks that you saved. And you can play the clip if you would like. Up here, you also can mark it as finished. You can change the, the theme, so instead of bright, it's dark. That is less, lets off less light from your device. Like if you're um, in bed and maybe somebody else in the room, you don't want to wake them up with the brightness of your screen. Go back to the light theme. Um, and you can review the details of the book. There's the summary. And you can also look at the reviews. So now, to review, if we go to our Audible app, it opens it up right there, and there is our book that we just bought, The Old Man in the Sea. So remember, to download a book onto Audible, you have to purchase it at Amazon.com first. You cannot purchase the book within the Audible app.